In autumn, Dusseldorf becomes the center of the world for those whose interest is for campers and caravans. The world's biggest fair of its kind attracts more than 150,000 visitors. There's a definite trend towards luxury. The first signs are apparent in the parking lot here, top of the market land yachts impress visitors and possibly also potential buyers. This is like a villa on wheels. There's a tender, a bay extension, slide out. I press on the button and it becomes wider. Washing machine, dishwasher, everything imaginable. It's as well appointed as a small apartment. Fine wood, attractive materials, Alcantara, it has the lot. Even if it seems that big and expensive applies only to exceptional models, in fact, almost all exhibitors are offering increased comfort. In the sleeping cabin, we have a freestanding bed, easy to get into, a large format television set, a closet big enough for a proper wardrobe, then there's the bathroom with LED lighting, granite floor and a massage shower. The galley has a dishwasher and microwave, a big refrigerator and deep freeze. In the salon, the flat screen TV swings out from the bar. What's really special about this vehicle is that underneath there's room to take a car along with you. We're standing on a Mercedes SLK. Without including the Mercedes, the price for the Faulkner performance is 1.7 million euros and it takes a full year to build one. Better equipment, more space, but this year reduced energy consumption is also a selling point this year, the engine getting the attention of camper drivers is one which saves about five or six euros per hundred kilometers with no sacrifice of performance, an investment which pays for itself after 10,000 kilometers. It's a common rail diesel with additional auto gas drive. I need a certain amount of diesel fuel just to get the ignition started. We call that the ignition jet principle. The jet ignites and that's 30% of the fuel used up. And then we introduce a similar quantity of gas to give the motor its performance. The exhibition brings together 2,000 vehicles. The market continues to favor motorized caravans and campers. This category accounted in the first quarter of 2008 for sales of 22,200 units across Europe, a rise of 6.9% over the same period of the previous year. And the 27,400 newly registered conventional caravans were 5.2% down in comparison with the year before. The slowdown can surely not be the fault of this model. The multi-cell concept makes each unit sold completely unique. Mass production is feasible, but each caravan can be unique. That's possible with the new fabrication technology. Economically rational construction, but with the advantage of complete customization. The customer's wishes are taken into account in the computer-generated design. Parameters and design features developed by the architects are called up to give a range of styling options. The hive principle of the exterior is reflected in the interior, each cell having its own function. No less modern is the lifestyle range from Eiffelland. Lounge-style decoration, clear lines are something a bit new in the caravan world. An ultra-modern galley and plenty of daylight reflect the lifestyle of today's apartment dwellers. This model is priced at 18,000 euros. Of course, there are also perfectly normal caravans on show, but it's the exceptions that one remembers, like the pneumatic suspension, which guarantees that the bed will be absolutely horizontal, whatever the pitch is like. Or perhaps the mini helicopter behind the camping coach? Whether you're looking for expensive luxury or clever compact solutions, the caravan salon has something for every taste.